So family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. I finally got this game, Mentally Stimulate Me. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a review on it right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you follow a channel like mine, my, my relationship advice, you probably heard of this other YouTuber who came up with this mentally stimulate me game, which is Derek Jackson. Last time I checked, he had over 200,000 subscribers. He's on Facebook all the time, and he came up with a card game in order to talk with your potential partners, right? And so to see where they stand on particular questions. And me and my fiance went through a few of these questions and we didn't go through the whole deck. We didn't even play the game the way that it's supposed to be played. But I, I've been wanting to get this game. I have the second edition, so it has another set of cards over there. And I'm just going to read the back. So it says, so you're back for more. Good, because we're back with plenty in the second edition of Mentally Stimulate Me card game. This means more laughter, more debates, and less boredom during otherwise stale hangouts. We've taken the mental we've taken the mental stimulation up a few notches and we don't apologize for it. Enjoy. So literally me and my fiance only read like four of the questions and we talked for almost an hour. So <laughs> This is a game that is right up my alley. I've been wanting to do a review on it. And um, so what I'm going to do is just pull like, you know, I don't know, five, seven, ten cards, something like that, depending on the question. And then I'm going to review the game and see how I actually like it. All right. So the first one, your cousin just came home from 40 years in prison and wants to go back immediately. <laughs> really, they want to go back <laughs> anyway. Your best friend's partner abuses him or her. What do you do? And then it gives you choices. A is call the police. B nothing. C personally address the abuser. Or D granting your cousin his or her wish with the address of the abuser. So basically, I um, was reading the question wrong, at least in my mind. Your cousin just came back from prison, right? But your best friend's partner was abusing him or her. What should you do? Now, for me, because I don't want my cousin to go back to prison, <laughs> right? I'm not, I don't, I really don't want to say nothing, but calling the police in um, situations like this, usually the abuser goes back to the abusee. Uh, I'm sorry, the abusee goes back to the abuser. So I probably wouldn't call the police because that would be like just for the moment. And then sometimes the abusee is pissed off at you for helping. So I probably wouldn't call the police. Probably wouldn't do nothing. Um, me, my personality, I don't like conflict. So me addressing the abuser is a no-go. Um, actually, I don't like none of these choices, honestly. Because the last one is granting my cousin his or her wish with the address of the abuser. Um, I really don't like that answer either uh this one would be something i would really 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 have to think about and it probably would end up with being nothing honestly and i know that that sounds bad because i just don't um agree with abuse but i know calling the police is only going to help momentarily because if the person is not ready to leave that abusive relationship they're only going to keep going back and back and back and back and sometimes they don't even make it out alive so this one this one is a tough one for me Derek. that one is a tough one for me all right, the next one. Bay tells you that if he or she had met their new coworker before you, they'd be in a relationship with them. Instead, what do you do? Really? Suck a goodbye. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got to do me no favors. That ain't the answers, though. Anyway, <laughs> choice A. Nothing. The statement is harmless. B. Asking Bay what the F does that mean. C. Cake cussing Bay out. Or D. Finding a new Bay. Dude. I have said before, if you were choosing between me and another person, please don't choose me, boo. So this one right here, like we, we already in a relationship on this one. So I guess I can't answer it the same way. But yeah, if they would have met them first, they'd have been in a relationship with them. Like that do not make me feel good. That doesn't make me feel like you in it wholeheartedly with me. That makes it feel that makes me feel like I am like the super backup. 
like you not satisfied with me that doesn't make me feel secure with you if you came with a question to me so for me I would probably say cussing bay out but you you know how I talk about arguments and all that stuff so cussing for me wouldn't be the cursing probably for some of you guys um, but I would cur curse bay out for that one um, because he's obviously still there. If there are no flags or signs that he has been off trying to meet with my co-worker or anybody else for that matter, then whatever. All right, next one. Four people are barely hanging on to the edge of a cliff. Which one do you pull to safety first? Okay, my choices. Spouse, B, my parent, C, my child, D, baby daddy, or baby mom. Ooh, Derek, I'm loving this game, but woo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it to you again. Four people are barely hanging on the edge of the cliff. Which one do you pull to safety first? Um, wow, this is tough. My spouse, my parent, my child, baby mama, daddy. So for me, baby mama and daddy is just out. That, that's my own personal situation. I don't have one, so that's out. Um, my child is obviously on top. My parent, unfortunately, you have already lived your life, so you, you, I probably wouldn't help you. Parent, love you. Um, my spouse, again, you, I love you, love you, boo, I love you, especially if you watch this, love you. But <laughs> I don't know, and it could just. I'm thinking my child, honestly, but it could be because I had my ch my child so late in life. That I'm like, oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. I didn't think I was ever gonna have. That's my baby. Me, for me, I'm sorry. It's my, it's my child, and then second would be spouse. I don't know. Everybody's probably dead if I save the child, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Next, you're about to go on a first date, so you tell your friend about it. Your friend looks your date up and sees thirsty DMs from them from a few weeks ago. What do you do? So basically, um, you tell your friend about this date, and but your friend has thirsty uh, direct messages from this guy that you're about to go out with. What do you do? <laughs> Choices. A, you going out on a date. B, you canceling a date. C, you calling your date to get to the bottom of this. D, you're going on the date but nothing else. Okay, thirsty DMs. Okay, so for me, yeah, this is not the choice. I'm just a logical person. I would have to think about it. Okay, so he was being thirsty with her, right? So he probably was being thirsty with a lot of other women. But did those two ever connect? Did my friend and him ever connect or did she just blow him off? Because it's literally how you treat one person is not how you treat everybody else. So if he was thirsty with her, maybe, I mean, I don't want to blame it on her or anything, but maybe she had some pissed pictures on her profile to make him feel like he could be thirsty with her or maybe she was saying some type of suggested stuff in some of the posts that she was putting on there and then your friend was the total opposite he was in respect mode with your friend so that's just my thinking about this so I probably would go ahead and go out on a date and and see what happens so if me and if my friend and that guy never got together there was nothing about it other than these thirsty thirsty messages to me that's not a reason to not go like again because how you treat and what you do to one person you're not going to do to the other person that's just the way that it is everybody don't get the same treatment boo and all of us have done some dumb thirsty stuff before so yeah whatever <laughs> Next one. Let's see. Your fiance is at their bachelor or bachelorette party. You see their ex pop up on your timeline at what seems to be the same party. What do you do? A. Nothing because it doesn't matter. C. You calling your fiance. Uh, I'm sorry. B. You calling your fiance. C. Melting down but still getting married later. D. Pulling up on their body. <laughs> Okay, since I'm not the hood girl, you know, I'm not pulling up on nobody because that's you just embarrassing yourself. So D is out for me. Um, melting down, but still getting married later. Um, calling my fiance. Nothing because it doesn't matter. So nothing because it doesn't matter. Don't look good to me. So A and D are out for me. So it's either down to calling my fiance or melting down. Well, for me, I'm just not a super meltdown person. Like, I have my meltdown moments, but in a situation like this, again, if you choosing somebody else and you think about choosing me, choose them. 
don't choose me choose them so for me i probably would call my fiance and see what's going on like you know the person going to be there or did he you know did, did my fiance you know tell me that this person was going to be there and then you know i'll go from there but i'm in my in this case and with these selections i probably would go ahead and call my fiance get some clarification going on into who so yeah, so this is, is this is getting a little little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably do like one more. Anyway, after a few amazing dates, you look at your new boo's profile and see pics of you that he or she took that you didn't know they took and they posted them. What do you do? <laughs> Derek, you just in some violation with all of this stuff. Okay, you in violation with some of these things. <laughs> hey, tagging yourself to get your followers up. Really? <laughs> B, you're asking your boo to delete the pics. C, reporting the pics and blocking them. D, telling boo, thanks for showing you off. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. So it really just depends on what conversation we had about this. So I don't post a whole lot of pictures about my um, me and my boo online. Like I like that neither one of us are 100% into we have to post everything. I post some pictures, you know, I know that y'all not asking all my business or anything like that, but for me, I um I would not ask him to delete the pictures because secretly I'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's cute." <laughs> right? That's cute. He put me on his profile. I ain't even had to ask, right? So I wouldn't ask him to delete them. I definitely would not report the pics and block them. Uh, tagging myself to get my followers up that just sounds super thirsty uh, no so I probably would tell boo thanks for showing me off D that's probably would be my answer again all of these 100% don't apply to me or my situation but given the choices this is this is what we have all right so actually I'm gonna pick another one let's see here I'm trying to get some of this super juicy stuff but if you see how thick this this deck is like this is all the cards that are in here so you could be having this conversation and playing this game and mentally stimulating everybody in the conversation for hours and i really want to play this game with a group of people because i know again it would be really really great um again i just played it with my fiance just like three or four cards and we was talking for an hour so i know that this would be a game that's right in my alley okay i guess just don't want to go back in there anyway last question bay's expensive new shoes are on the floor accidentally you step on one of them when bay sees the scuff he or she accuses their friend of doing it whom you don't like what do you do <laughs> this is ratchet a accusing the friend to b confessing it was you c telling bay to just forget about it d act like you don't know nothing me i'm just gonna confess and say it was me it's not that big of a deal i'm sorry i didn't mean to do it again accidentally because accidents happen yeah so um i know that this would absolutely be a game that i would love to play with a group of people i might even have a mentally stimulate me party going on in the near future i have some other things going on right now so i'm not gonna be able to do it now but i am very anxious to play this game and to play it with a group of people so if you guys like this no actually do any of you have this game out there? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about this particular game? How many times have you played it? Have you actually played it um, with your spouse or significant other? Or if you are in the dating phases, have you played this with your date? Now go ahead and talk to me and let me know about this card game. I'm I had to review this because it's all about relationships, right? I had to review this. Um, I haven't done a book review in a while, but this was just really interesting to me. And I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I reviewed this. Thank you so much, Derek Jackson. Y'all go ahead and check out his channel. Um, you may enjoy his content. Again, it's all about relationships as well. He has a few books. I have a few of his books as well. So, yeah, he's doing his thing. So, big, big ups to Derek Jackson. I will see you guys in another video. Of course, do not forget to give me thumbs up. Share this with everybody. And do not forget to follow me on social social media vlogging every single day is coming up and i want everybody who wants to participate to participate i will not be accepting questions under my youtube videos i will only be accepting them on my social media platforms i will see you soon deuces